We, we were set up as a, an involving you group, so service users and carers could be involved in every aspect of the recruitment and selection process. Because who was better to recruit the right people to the trust, the patients and service users and carers who use the services we provide? Well, I was invited along to a group and they welcomed me with open arms, made me feel very comfortable. And I've interviewed lots of people We've had quite a lot of success, the task group has had a huge amount of success and that's not down just solely to our team, it's down to the service users, the patients, the carers, the staff that have been involved, human resources have had um, a huge involvement within it in terms of running training to make this happen, um, so it's a huge accolade to the staff involved um, and the patients and service users and for the organisation really. We've been able to train and develop over 72 people and we've run over 14 training courses across different sites in the Trust and that's really led to people being able to get involved in various recruitment and selection opportunities. We're really seeing the benefits to staff, they feel empowered, the fact that they've, they've, they've been interviewed by service users, patients and carers. You know the commitment that we've had from the service users, patients and carers that have come from from maybe some of the negative comments, the time that they've put in to come in and working with us to develop training, to being trained. The service users get asked along to, to be on the panels because we've got a different outcome than other members of staff, see. And then there was a, a bit of a dispute one day. They were all chatting amongst themselves and I was the only service user there that day. And they just looked and said, Peppy, who do you think? So you get on, you're all the professionals, you, you get on and make the decision. And they said, no, that's why we brought you in today. So my decision basically was the final. So I had the say in that, which I thought, oh, well, you know, I'm respected in a lot of ways by the trust and the, and the team and everything. I was chuffed to bits actually when I did hear that they were nominated for an award because they're a very hard working team. If we did win the award, I think we'd feel really proud. So if we won, um, it would be a huge recognition of the work that, that we've taken on. We're getting there and we're seeing you know, service users, patients and carers sat as equals on panels with staff um, and, and building more relationships between staff and service users um, that they can be involved and they've got so much expertise to bring um, in terms of the services and the types of people they want delivering care to them.